whatever it takes. Christians have the privilege of both serving God and suffering for his sake. Make no mistake, it really is indeed a privilege, not a sacrifice. The Bible tells us in Philippians 1.29, For it has been granted to you on behalf of Christ, not only to believe in him, but also to suffer for him. And Mark 8.35 says, For whoever wants to save their life will lose it. But whoever loses their life for me and the gospel will save it. A follower of Christ can expect trials and tribulations. This journey here on earth is not easy. And you can be sure that the devil will do everything in his power to make your life miserable. Suffering for Christ's sake dates all the way back to Bible times. And the scriptures even tell us to expect trials. In John 16.33 we're told, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Satan will use his tools to discourage you, so expect to be gossiped about, judged, belittled, mocked, lied about, and all other forms of injustice. The abuse may come from strangers or even family and friends, but no matter what fiery trial you are going through or who is throwing the poisonous darts, you don't have to be afraid, for Jesus has promised that he will see you through. Claim this promise in Deuteronomy 31.8. He will never leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. Whatever it takes, choose to serve Jesus.